The purpose of this new tube is to analyze the data set runners, see what we can learn from it. This is quite a large uh, data set. As you can see, there are, um, let's see, uh, 800 elements in there, which is the ID in the left-hand column. And uh, it's divided up into uh, different control and runners and by sex, female and male, and the column D has the heartbeats of them. So let's see what we can find out using a pivot table. So uh, go to insert pivot table and then let's put in all of the data that we wish to analyze. So yes, that's correct, A1 down to D801. Uh, let's put it onto a new worksheet and the pivot table dialog starts up. First of all, I want to do a histogram of the beats to see uh, what the distribution is, but without worrying about the, the gender, etc. This is basically just to practice doing a histogram. So we have beats there. Now we also need something in values and we need to change it from sum, value field settings. We want to have it as count. So now it's listed on the left-hand side. Uh, you can see there are two people with the heartbeat of 82, etc., etc. So I'm going to group it now. So notice where the cursor changes. Turn right to group. And Excel is suggesting uh, I start off at 69 and go up to 1. Let's, let's change that to 60 just makes it neater and uh, let's make it end at 200 and Excel is suggesting by 10 so that's change that and now we have uh, what's it about 14 different groups which is about right so for a histogram we want between um, about 5 and 20 no more no less so let's see what this histogram looks like column the first one, then change it. We have uh, some, this is a bar chart, we want to change that, so move to that little tab and then layout 8 has got a histogram on it and uh, you should change this to um, heartbeat or something, uh, whatever is appropriate. So now we can see there is something symmetric, it looks pretty much like a normal distribution now keep that there. Let's see what happens if we change the class width. So we go back to group and change it from, let's say, by 5. So if we do it from 5, it's going to go every 5. And we're going to have, of course, more classes. So there we are, and it's more classes, and this isn't really quite as informative. It's a little bit too spiky, and you can see there it seems to be 130, but it's not, not really that interesting. The 10 was better. How about if we go the other way and change it, let's say, to 20? Now this is uh, kind of too much the other way. It looks like pretty much like a normal distribution. We can see that there are some outliers here. So these would be people here on the right hand side, very high heartbeat, that'd be 180 to 200. And also some people here with a low, very low heartbeat, 60 to 79. These are extreme outliers, aren't they? But most people have a heart rate that's about 120, something like that. Notice that these are people who have taken exercise or are taking exercise when they're tested. It's not their regular heartbeat all the time. So I think probably the one at 10 looks quite good. Let's go back to 10 and see what happened. Yeah, 10 looks all right. We have enough detail. We can still see those uh, outliers, the very low, the very high. And if something like that would be about appropriate. Now I want to uh, take this explanation a little bit further and uh, instead I want to try to break it down by uh, gender and by whether they were control group 
or not. I'm going to move beats now to column label. Notice now it's a column label going across. I want to have gender in there. And now we can see immediately that we have uh, male and female is here. Let's group horizontally. Let's group the row by tens. It's grouped by tens now. OK, so what, do, what can we see here that's of interest? Let's group it by 15s just to make it a little bit. OK, now we can see here that there's a gap, isn't there? That the higher heartbeats all belong to the females. So there are no males with a very high heartbeat. Let's now include the group. So now we have female control and female runners. Female, male control and male runners. Look here. The runners seem to have a lower heartbeat. All those people with very high heartbeat amongst the female are in the control group. People who tend not to perhaps take as much exercise as the runners, although we don't know they don't take any exercise. And uh, under males, the heartbeats, yes, here we have the same pattern. The runners seem to have a lower heart rate. I wonder if we can put this as some sort of a uh, plot. Let's try. Yes, we can. So I highlighted the area and we have control. You see here, control female, control uh, female runners and then male. So this is the same distribution, but you can see probably by looking at this area here particularly, the blank areas, you can learn something from it. So let's just say, take example here, male runners. It seems to me that uh, there's a peak here. The male runners, there are more of them with a lower heartbeat. The same here with the females. So you conclude from this that perhaps running might reduce your heart rate just from this data. So the key thing I'd like you to get from this is that you have to explore the data, change the things around and try to find something interesting. There's not necessarily a right or a wrong answer here. Thank you.